Hello folks, when you are talking about IAM cross account access or IAM role delegation, if you are not sure how to do that, today I am going to explain to you what happens in the background and how exactly we need to provision the IAM access delegation and what are the different pieces that happens or you need to provision in your account. So let us go ahead and see them. Say for example, you have a dev account and David is an IAM user in dev account where he can perform a lot of operations and then you have a prod account where there is an S3 bucket which Dave needs to get access to. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a role in the prod account and let us say that his role is going to be called as S3 role for simplicity. It might be a S3 read access role or S3 full role uh, whichever permissions you want David to have. For simplicity let us go ahead and call it as S3 role and we are going to attach an assume permission here so that David from the account number of 111 uh, will be able to assume this role. So that is the trust relationship that you're setting up for this role. And the next thing is we are going to give permissions for this role. So in this case, I'm going to say the user will be able to do a lot of get activity and a lot of list activity. That is every operation under get and list the David can perform or this role can perform and they will not be able to do any write or delete operations. So now we have done the setting on the production account. The setting or the configuration change that you need to make on the dev account is you are going to assign a permission for uh, David itself, the user, and you are going to say he is able to assume the role, the S3 role on production account. So you are going to add a trust relationship there. So the key thing is the ARN here, you are going to take the ARN of the S3 role that you have created and going to put in here so that um, David can assume that role that happens here. So whenever David is going to request an access for the S3 bucket, this is what is happening in the background. So David says that I need access, then he says these are my keys, I want to access this role that is in this different account. So that role is going to provide him a temporary credentials because remember we have set up a trust relationship or both way trust relationship between uh, production and dev account, particularly for the dev user. And then uh, once he got his temporary credentials, he will be able to use the temporary credentials to access the S3 bucket. Remember these are temporary credentials, meaning by default they are given a uh, time frame or the token is valid for about one hour. You can go ahead and change them at any point in time or you can invoke or uh, I mean, you mean revoke any existing sessions also. So. This is how you go ahead and uh, set up a cross account role and in the next video I will show you how you can do this in your own account and we will also check it out with the AWS CLI. Keep watching this channel for more videos like this and we will all learn together. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.